Comments on Human-Induced Global Warming, Episode 2, An Introduction to the Halt in Global Warming. This is the second in a series of videos that examines hypothetical human-induced global warming and claims made by global warming enthusiasts. In this video, we'll introduce the current halt in global warming. The recent lack of global warming is known by a number of names, the hiatus, the pause, and others. The most commonly used metric to present global warming is logically global surface temperature anomalies, and they are the deviations in temperature from a reference period. The three most often used suppliers of global surface temperature data are the UK Med Office, NOAA's National Climatic Data Center, NCDC, and NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, GISS. The suppliers of global surface temperature products primarily use a common data source for land surface air temperature data and a common data source for sea surface temperature data. The three suppliers show very similar warming since 1979. 1979 is the start year for satellite-based global temperature data, so it's often used for the surface temperature products too. And all three show a slowdown or a halt in global surface temperature warming in recent years. Looking at the data starting in 1998, it's easier to see that the data rarely rose above the peak values from the 1997-98 El Nino. Kevin Trenberth of the National Center for Atmospheric Research used 2001 as the start year for the recent warming halt in his article for the Royal Meteorological Society. Global surface temperatures based on all three products show little to no warming since January 2001. Do climate models simulate the slowdown and halt in global warming? In the following graphs, we're comparing the average of the three global temperature data sets with the average of all of the simulations of global surface temperature using the models prepared for the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's fifth assessment report. The model outputs are stored in the Climate Model Intercomparison Project CMIP-5 archive and they're available to the public through the KNMI Climate Explorer. The models do a poor job of simulating the warming if we start the data in 1998. The models more than quadruple the observed global warming. And since 2001, the year chosen by Kevin Trenberth for the halting global warming, the models show continued warming while global surface temperatures have not warmed. There are two recent studies about climate model performance in light of the halt in global warming. The first is von Storch and others, 2013. The title is, Can Climate Models Explain the Recent Stagnation in Global Warming? The simple answer is no. They write, we conclude that the model projections are inconsistent with the recent observed global warming over the period of 1998 to 2012. The second study is Fife and Others, 2013, and the title of their paper is Overestimated Global Warming Over the Past 20 Years. Fife and Others write, the evidence, therefore, indicates that the current generation of climate models, when run as a group with the CMIP-5 prescribed forcings, do not reproduce the observed global warming over the past 20 years or the slowdown in global warming over the past 15 years. In short, climate models cannot explain the slowdown and stop of global warming. The model simulated that global surface temperatures would continue to warm. 
If the climate models can't explain the lack of warming, then they definitely can't be used to explain the warming. In future videos, we'll examine what global warming enthusiasts have to say about the halt in global warming. Please feel free to ask questions or comment on this video at my blog. Y'all have a nice day.